Oh, goody. All right, what's up, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Mercenaries video. So, back from vacation, gonna get the regular Mercs content going again. Excited to check out some of the stuff from the new patch we got yesterday. I'll probably do another video just kind of going over the uh, different balancing buffs, adjustments we got, as we got a lot of those, but they were just taking a look at the upcoming Cthune event. So if you didn't see in the patch notes, we are getting the last old god Cthune as an event coming later on in August. Looks like it is going to be starting up August 16th, so about two weeks or so after the release of the expansion. Finley will also be coming with the expansion, so we'll get a new Merc then, then another one with this Cthune event. So I'm just going to run through what the different tasks are and their requirements. So that way you want to complete this event, especially if you're a newer player, you know what it is you should be working towards before the event starts later on in August. So let's take a look here. Task number one, Glacial Rave. This involves completing the Ravik Bounty with all your marks alive in Alterac Valley. Not heroic, so that one shouldn't be too, too difficult. Then we have task two, seafood soup. This one involves completing the Accolade of Nazoth bounty with at least two dragons in Darkshore. That one should be relatively budget-friendly, as there are a lot of good rare dragons, so that one shouldn't be too difficult. Then task number three, we are dancers. This one involves completing the Lewis Phillips bounty without any humans in Alterac Valley. I think we had uh, Lewis Phillips one earlier in one of the past events, uh, and he really wasn't too bad, and that condition is pretty open, just literally anything but humans, so not too bad there. Worth noting that the mercenary is locked behind the third task this time, again, like last event as opposed to the second one. I'm not really sure why they made this change. It's a little bit annoying because now you have to wait an additional day once the event starts to actually play with the character. But maybe they were thinking that this will get more people to do more of the event rather than just doing the first two tasks and then not worrying about the rest. But anyway, moving on, we have task number four, Mind Blowing. Trigger Cthune's Mind Fray Death Blow five times in a single battle. So that should be really easy with something like a uh, cookie and maybe just some buffs or whatever. Uh, it really shouldn't be that hard. Honestly, I think the events have gotten a fair bit easier over time, which in general I think is a good thing. These should be easier to complete for new players because I think the events draw in a lot of new players as well. And we have task number five, Family Gathering, which involves completing the Anixia bounty with at least three dragons in Anixia's lair. So another dragon one for you. Again, that shouldn't be that hard. You can probably accomplish that with the budget dragons. We have task number six, Bar Brawl. That one involves completing Heroic Terran Zoo in less than 10 turns in the Sunken City. I think Terran Zoo is the one that has the multiple summons and whatnot. Uh, that one really wasn't that hard, in my opinion. Even on Heroic, most of the new Sunken City bounties are pretty easy, as long as you have a decent PvE comp. Then, task number seven, Antidote. Defeat Heroic Zero, the Poison Mind, with only protectors in the Sunken City. I guess this might be one of the harder ones, depending on what protectors you have available, but... For the most part, these ones where you have to use all of a specific type of mercenary haven't been too, too bad as long as you have a handful of that type to pick from. Then task number eight, beef for the taking. Complete heroic secret cow bounty in less than 35 turns in barons. That one should be pretty easy. I used nature comp for that one and I found it is very quick for getting through the fight and dealing with the cows before they can scale up their lightning bolts, which can be pretty annoying. So I think I actually put out a, uh, a guide a while back for the heroic cows, if you want to check that out. Then task number nine, family burial, complete heroic undead Anixia bounty with at least four dragons in Anixia's lair. So it looks like they are just stacking up the dragon ones. So it looks like I think they said this in the patch notes, you're going to want some protectors and you're going to want some dragons. 
for most of these. And then the last and final one, Field Hospital. Restore 100 health in a single match using C'Thun. So that is another one where you can probably do this one fairly easy. Um, just by using heal power, scaling stuff, and cookie and whatnot. And that will reward you with the Diamond C'Thun variation. Looks like in terms of coins as well, uh, it's mostly, you get a lot of C'Thun coins, which is always good. And then some coins for some of the other dragons, as well as some Tyrael coins, which is actually pretty nice, because Tyrael can be kind of hard to fully max out, given the limited ways to farm his coins. But yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if you would like to check this out for yourself. But just to recap, really what you want to be focusing on, especially if you're a newer, newer player, is just get three or four decent dragons. I mean, to be honest, you probably don't even need that many, um, mainly just for the heroic Anixia thing. But the dragons are good to get anyway for both PB and PVP. So if you don't have them leveled up, definitely start working on that and uh, get some protectors up. I mean, it's a pretty protector-heavy meta right now, in my opinion. Um, protectors are really, really good, whether it's Yasharaj, Lokalar, Trigor, the list goes on. But there are a lot of good protectors right now, so I don't think that one will be too bad. But yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.